Off as we end this Labor Day, federal numbers show union membership fell half a percent from 2020 to 2021. However, the Florida AFL-CIO tells ABC Action News reporter Jada Williams there's more to those numbers that meets the eye. She gives us a closer look tonight at labor unions here in the Sunshine State. Labor Day, a day off to heat up the grill. But it means a lot more to Florida AFL CIO Director of Politics and Public Policy, Dr. Rich Templin. It's actually a holiday enshrined in law uh, to celebrate the gains and the benefits of organized labor, meaning unions. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, nationwide 10.3 percent of workers belong to a union in 2021. But just one year prior, that number was 10.8 percent. In 2020, Florida had 524,000 union members, or 6.4% of the working population. But by 2022, that number dropped to 448,000, 5.2%. But Templin says that's not the whole picture. Union membership declined during the pandemic because if you're not working, um, you know, you're, you're not paying dues. Uh, that's certainly nothing that we would ever ask for. People are still seeking help from unions. What we've seen in, the, in those numbers between uh, 2021 and 2022 is an increase of almost 200,000. A recent Gallup poll shows 71 percent of Americans say they would join a union if possible. Meanwhile, petitions to launch unions have gone up 57 percent according to the Department of Labor. This year, the Florida legislature amended state statute, giving union options to public employees. We feel like we're growing. We feel like our advocacy is increasing in strength, and uh, we're, we're pretty happy with this Labor Day. In Tampa, Jada Williams, ABC Action News.